power and protection my beautiful scorpios welcome to first eye visions my name is q and i am here to do your general reading i want to see what's coming and going out going on pick up on this energy it's been a little minute since i've done a reading sister has been very busy you know me i like to stay busy i like to keep the wheels moving so to speak so um a lot of things go on outside of youtube so uh i'm a mother first um i'm the head of household so i gotta make sure my ship is running smoothly beloveds i will everything is everything on your side of the planet because everything is everything on minds um energy is kind of crazy i've been feeling a lot of uh it's been really interesting uh, because we had the conjunction, the um, Saturn and Venus conjunction. We just came out of the full moon energy um, and Saturn has played a very significant role uh, this month. You know, this is also the month of the new year. It's the start of, you know, the new year. And it's also the um beginning of the astrological uh, calendar uh so we just left pisces uh pisces uh season and we are entering into beautiful aries energy that fire energy so a lot of you could be really tapping into your creative gifts a lot of you could really be like uh you know, maybe working on building a business, building your brand, maybe expansion in some way. Maybe you're working on your career of choice, moving, um, you know, uh, further up the ladder in terms of your education. Maybe you're going for, you know, maybe a master's, a doctorate degree, or maybe you're just studying in general. If it's not school per se, you could be learning perhaps, uh, you know, like Reiki healing, music therapy, sound therapy. Uh, maybe you're learning to play instruments. Maybe some of you all are engineers, uh, you know, producers. So you could be taking classes, taking lessons to learn that. Some of you all are learning how to read astrology, maybe even astronomy. Astronomy. I'm getting a um, a notion of. I just feel like there's a lot of like energy, just researching, investigating, learning, seeking wiser counsel, seeking higher um, knowledge, you know, just even if that's in pertinence to your spiritual sense. Um, I just feel like there's this, this studying, you know, there's a, a lot of studying, a lot of researching. Um, I know for myself, I've been doing a lot of reading as well. Uh, so many of you could be doing that just really like it's almost as if like you're sharpening your sword or your um your reading materials that are going to uh make you more of an expert in a particular area so you know say for instance if you are looking to start a business or look you know you may be uh reading books about you know how to start a business how to you know fill out your tax forms or you know something in regard to uh some sort of business venture or some sort of area of interest is where you're focusing all of your attention on um I also get a sense like there's been major change, like some sort of breakthrough just occurred in some of you all's lives. So I don't know if there was like, like there was an ending, but it was like, it was, it, it was like you knew in that instance or in that moment um, that you were okay over something or that something was done or over with uh, maybe you received, you know, some, some, um, documentation in the mail saying that your divorce is um it's finalized uh for some of you all maybe you just received like your degrees in the mail like oh you just finally completed um that you know that that um higher level of learning like you just completed uh you know your testing and you just got your scores so you just found out that you you passed and you are in fact uh going to obtain that degree that you were working towards maybe it's in relation to work maybe you're in training right now and um your trainings are your training classes are coming to a close uh maybe you know by the end of this month but it's just like i'm, I'm just feeling a finale 
you know, like something is done, something's finally over, something's come full circle. So there's been some sort of change, some sort of transformation, uh, some sort of completion. So that's really good news. I'm, I'm hearing cheers and, and I'm hearing just like you, the celebration almost. So some of you all, it's just like, it's been very, um, almost I'm hearing strenuous, like it's been a lot of stress, a lot of, of pressure on you. Um, it was not like an easy feat, but it's like, you're so relieved that it's over. You're so like, you could just finally like exhale this big exhale. Um, I feel for a lot of you all, you've been like in hermit mode. Um, you know, whilst you worked at this endeavor or this goal, it's like, you know, you've been kind of like out of, out of sight, out of mind, so to speak. And once this is done, it's almost like you're coming back out. And I'm hearing that song, uh, by Diana Ross. Um, what, how does it go? I'm coming out. Don't, don't, I want the world to know. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm just hearing like some of you all are going to be coming out, uh, coming out of your shells more. Uh, for some of you all, you could be coming out of the closet because that song is like, that's like a beloved song by some of the, you know, some of those in the life. So um, maybe some of you all just came out to your family or maybe something just, you know, something was just revealed or something has just been exposed or something has just finally, it was just like, it's kaput. It's done. It's done with. Um, I'm hearing no more fears. So if some of you all were walking in fear or, um, you know, holding on to fear or false, uh, identity or a false sense of self, it's like, you're, you're no longer hiding. You're no longer, um, you're no longer walking with that weight. It's like you're freeing yourself of some sort of, of fear. You're, you're, you're cutting yourself free, uh, from something that was boggling you down, whether that was mentally, emotionally, maybe that was people that you were dealing with. Like there's a sense of like, you just, you're feeling free now you're feeling freer. And because of that, um, freeness because you freed yourself uh you know i'm hearing liberation uh but i feel like there's also going to be reward that comes with this because it wasn't an easy feat as i said earlier like this has been something um very daunting very um overwhelming at times uh but you stead you stood the course um and you were steadfast like you you continued uh braving your light you continue to uh push beyond your fears, so to speak. Um, and that is why there's a reason I was hearing like ovation, like celebratory, like cheers and clapping. It's like, that's coming from the ancestors, the angels. Um, and they are, you know, celebrating, uh, whatever this, this accomplishment is, or whatever this chapter that's closing, it's like, they're so proud of you. So, and, and they're proud of you because they had, provided like those divine uh downloads those little interventions uh maybe there were moments where you were running into the same little animal totems or having the same type of dreams or maybe you were finding feathers maybe there were you know certain sensations or certain um little downloads that you knew uh were coming straight from source maybe you were seeing number synchronicities um maybe there were certain songs that were playing maybe a beloved uh ancestor who transitioned maybe you would see their name everywhere or maybe a number that really um connected you to this person pops up all the time maybe a song that you used to you know um listen to with this beloved person uh maybe that plays frequently but there's some unique way in which your ancestor or your uh spirit team your your uh um your your uh ancestors communicate to let you know like you're on the right path you're on you know you're on course so don't get distracted uh and i feel like the blessings that you will be receiving this is absolute guarantee uh they will be coming straight from your your spirit team your angels your ancestors uh because i get a sense of like you praying to them and them they answered your call uh they were there supporting you whether you knew it or not and a lot of you knew uh that you were being supported because because there were moments where you wanted to give up and you didn't. There were moments where you didn't know how you were making it, but you were. And it was because they were carrying you in those moments. So this is beautiful energy I'm picking up on. And it's 444 on my um, clock, um, on my, uh, what you call it, when I finished that. So that's just confirmation, uh, confirmation that spirit 
it was absolutely and is absolutely curry, uh, carrying you, um, absolutely blessing you, absolutely covering you. You are in favor right now uh, from the divine Scorpio. So y'all should really take a bow, uh, give offerings, give thanks, show gratitude. Um, and you could do that not only by giving those offerings to your ancestors, but just showing acts of kindness, period. You know, always be a vessel to the people in your life. You know, even the people you may not know. If you see someone in need, help them out, especially if you're in a position to help out. Uh, I'm not saying you got to go out and just be giving, you know, away stuff, but I'm just saying in those moments where it speaks to your spirit to do so, do so, because that is, that is also, um, expected when you start leveling up and and elevating spiritually it's like those acts of kindness uh those are your moments where you can pay it forward and bless someone else uh so be mindful to do that look for opportunities to do that and not always opportunities to receive sometimes you have to be in that vibration of giving to those in need um and like i said those moments that are special uh, and meant for you to do so, you will know when you're meant to do so. You will just know it because you'll feel it. It'll just come natural and organic. It won't feel like a task or it won't be for show. Like you taking a picture, handing a homeless person some money. Like I can't stand those photos. I like candid moments. Like somebody just kept you on the humble doing an act of kindness and then it's celebrated, but you taking a photo of you like, come on now, beloved, come on. That wasn't real. But anyway, I digress. Welcome to anybody that may be new. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am also a Scorpio. I'm an empath. And I'm also Claire audience, so you will hear me playing music in the background and the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what comes out with the tarot cards and it all just blends very beautifully. My spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones, meaning if the messages do not apply, let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, your rising, Venus, and Mercury. Check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. To any of you beautiful souls that have happened to find this reading or this reading happened to find you, that was divine timing. My readings are timeless. So whenever this message pops up, whether it's a year from now, six months from now, maybe even five months from now, that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so, beloveds. So to all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I send a big fat old Asheo to you all. Thank you so much for your love, for your support. Consistent love, genuine love, genuine support. I feel it. I appreciate it. And I rotate it on back to you. I'm going to give it on back to you. Rotate, rotate. I shade. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and proceed with the read. Um, Before we do, let's go ahead and do some house cleaning, shall we? I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Ubatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So the time on the clock, 449. I'm going to show you. All right. Maybe I can show you with the uh, iPad. So 449. Can you see that? So that reduces to eight, but that's also four, four. Remember, we just saw four, four, four. So we on the vibrations of these fours and four is the number. My throat chakra is getting blocked. So four is the number of not only the heart chakra. So maybe there was a lot of, of, of self-love um, that you've been able to obtain. Uh, there's been a lot of healing. Maybe there's a divine masculine that is in question, or maybe there's a divine masculine that's watching. Um, 
but it's also dealing with the emperor. So that same energy I was picking up just of building and growing and learning. That's what the emperor does. That's what the empress does. Um, the divinity is to always birth new ideas, new ways of thinking, new projects, always staying busy, always mastering one crafts, always like elevating oneself. So I feel that that energy is really that of self mastery. So four and four reduces to eight. Eight is giving me the vibration of just like working very hard towards a goal, maybe completing some sort of karmic cycle because eight is really like the infinity symbol what goes around comes back around so it's like maybe your good deeds your good efforts are real going to be rewarded this time around because as i said you've completed some sort of tough cycle there's been something that has finally um you know that has been finaled uh i said final that has been um finalized so there is now this sense of like a blessing a wish fulfillment that could possibly coming uh, be coming in for you. Uh, maybe even that answered prayer, some sort of miracle, some sort of blessing that you have really been like sending up prayers, petitions, like, like on a schedule, like daily. Uh, maybe you've been praying for like eight years, uh, for something. And now you're, there's like this, this prayer is finally being answered or something unexpected is coming in. Cause I'm getting not the only the stars with wish fulfillment, but I'm also seeing like the eight of wands, something coming in, but it's really, Really, really good news it's really something that you um, are going to be really baffled like you're gonna be overwhelmed and overtaken by uh, surprise you know um, because it's just like it, it, it's finally here so whatever it was that you were praying for and asking for it's like you're like oh my god it's really here like you manifested it so it's really beautiful I'm also getting with that eight strength a lot of strength as i said you braved your light um to obtain something and and uh you're going to be astounded beloved to say the least when this blessing comes in my throat was getting um blocked so i do feel like it could be in a form of communication whether it could be uh someone actually calling you up on the phone and telling you some good news or maybe perhaps someone that you have not spoken to because i was picking up on divine masculine energy so if you are a divine masculine you may perhaps be receiving some good news or receiving some sort of information some sort of excitement exciting uh, news or some sort of answered prayer could be coming in for you. If you are a feminine, it could be um, perhaps maybe a masculine that you haven't heard, heard from um, or spoke to in a while that could be coming in. Uh, but I just get a sense of like something's coming in with the eight. Uh, that eight of wands is like it's rushing, rushing in. So what we have playing right now is we have Patrice Russian and this is called Remind Me. And so with with russian i always for some reason russian always kind of sticks out to me and and as i said something's coming in quickly unexpectedly so i feel like this is rushing in maybe someone's rushing in with some good news but it's it's a beautiful energy that i'm picking up on so you know stay tuned to that beautiful scorpios so let's tap in let's tap in beloveds let's see what we got coming in going out going on with my beautiful scorpios what do we have on the bottom of the deck so we have 16 that's number seven so this 16 speaks to uh your higher self that first die chakra the crown chakra is associated with the number seven seven is also uh the number of the um the chariot so i do feel like you found emotional spiritual um you know equilibrium and that is what has triggered some sort of ref, uh transformation um with you remind me maybe this is someone from your past uh could be thinking of you you know the crown could really be speaking to someone dreaming of you maybe someone was born in the seventh month maybe someone was born on 11 7 uh but i feel like there's memories there's a lot of thoughts happening in the mind in the mental uh because as i said that's the crown chakra so someone could be thinking of you someone could be um you know daydreaming uh but i also get a strong sense like you know there's been a lot of growth within you so i feel like you're also very sensitive psychically uh your your psychic and intuitive skills have amplified and you rely on that more than anything now on the split we have look at that 
We have happy ending. So this is beautiful. So you listening and trusting your own intuition or your own inner wisdom is going to lead to happiness. This seven and three reduces to 10. So I just hear like, complete joy and a you know elation like this is showing me a sense of like the ten of cups where you are emotionally fulfilled the ten of pentacles where you are financially fulfilled building that net legacy uh that nucleus with someone that you care about um but i feel like you're gonna be like completely um at ease like life is gonna be feeling good you're hearing some sort of good news like i said and with this rebirth it just shows like all of the major change you know the enormous change that you've been through the enormous change that you had to you know implement within your own self your own psyche uh you had to really be the conduit of change in those moments where uh you weren't sure you were going to be able to but your hard work pays off because there's a happy ending to a not so happy start happy um start so it's like this this transformation is really showing like you know you're being re rewarded as i was picking up on like this there's, there's some sort of reward there's some recognition and that yellow uh from that card look at this manifestation so your dreams and your desires are manifesting into this physical reality. And as I said, maybe you all are setting intention, especially with you remind me, maybe you remembered who you are. You remembered that you have superpowers, that you can speak your intentions into the universe, into the ethers, you know, and, and become that alchemist, become that sorcerer, become that magician, that I magi nation. But there's a blessing, like I said, and this eight, the infinity symbol, it's like what goes around comes around. So whatever you did in the past, it's like your heart was pure this is all pink pink deals with the heart chakra so this is like you could literally like weigh your heart with a feather and your heart was weighed less than the feather so it's as if like spirit is is really noticing your good work your good efforts how hard you've worked um to get to this point like i said it required strength but your self-discipline and your self-love really helped you to persevere and push past whatever it was that you was experiencing and going through. So that's powerful, Scorpio. It's like, good Lord, I love it. That's beautiful energy. Look at that. This is why you have a new beginning. This is why you're taking action. This is why there's so much attraction drawn to you at this time. Like this one is very fallacious. So this is like, you know, there's a lot of, of, of eyes on you, attraction. I don't know if you all have been really uh, making it a note to take care of yourselves, eating healthy, um, changing your livets, uh, taking more time to exercise, to do yoga, to meditate, to connect with the body, to do more breathing techniques or exercises. Perhaps some of you all are doing like Tai Chi, Qi Gong. Uh, maybe some of you all are going and getting like uh, acupuncture done. Whatever it is, is like this, this, reminds me of like just being one with self you know getting back to one one is always associated with like the ace of wands or the ace of cups or the ace of pentacles uh the ace of swords the ace of you know these these are really like you know a newfound version of you you are in full uh control and you are acting on what you desire to acquire so this is really an energy of you standing firm standing erect and going after what you want and 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 attracting it more importantly to you but there's no fears here you know this energy is really that of of like self love self healing um having those those uh having just real um a real connection uh to your higher self to yourself this is beautiful energy i love it so we have our uh, music and this is called so beautiful so just as i said what you standing erect makes you very beautiful makes you very attractive i'm hearing the word alluring intriguing mysterious the bottom of the deck we have the number 16 yet again this was what opened up the reading on the split so your transformation is something that has um garnered you some sort of blessing some sort of reward this is personal growth this is coming into alignment like i said spiritually mentally emotionally like this is you being in a position where now you're going after what you desire more assertively more confidently because you now have um just that that sense of um 
connection with your higher self. You are very intuitive. So you are now more so relying on your own intuition. And the more you love you, because we know love is an inside job, the more it makes you more attractive, the more it makes you more intriguing, more alluring to those that may be watching you from the background or from the outskirts. It's like you may know or not know that you are, uh, you know, very captivating at this time. And this rebirth is something that's, uh, drawing a lot of suitors, a lot of, of, of good energy, good vibrations. Like I said, uh, you just have this energy of being favored at this time. So your prayers are being answered. Uh, there's people coming in, uh, that's wanting to bide for your time, wanting to get to know you. Perhaps, uh, you may hear from people that you may not have heard from in quite some time. We have 71 health here. And so we're about to pull the card for the person that you are attracting to you. So someone is really up in their head. Remember with you remind me playing and, and we was expounding on 16 because I was saying that's the crown chakra. Someone from perhaps your past um, that was a little confused because I'm also getting like the six of, of uh, cups where there's other options or there's other um, interests or there's other uh responsibilities, circumstances, situations. There's some other moving pieces um, that's distracting someone perhaps from uh, from making a decision or or being um or being more attentive or showing more attention. Now there's this stress and this worry. Uh, this is self-imposed mental anguish because someone chooses to live in their mind opposed to opening their throat chakra. And remember my throat got blocked when I was speaking on that four, four, four or the 44, it was 449, I believe. And I was just saying how it was a uh, masculine energy. I was picking up on, if it's not masculine, it's feminine, but my throat got blocked. So I feel like this person lives in their mind. And instead of expressing perhaps whatever it is they have to say, um, especially with your uh, so beautiful playing by music. I feel like this is something someone is thinking about like night and day. This is someone that is like really like daydreaming, wanting to say something to you. I was also feeling like they were attracted to you with that one. Um, they get a hard on for you or they get hot and hot and heavy for you. Like this is someone that's physically attracted to you um, as well as like mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. Like there's a connection here that they feel, but this is stressing them the hell out uh, because this person may have difficulties communicating. Maybe this is someone who also suffered from some sort of karmic circumstance. Maybe this is the person that taught you a karmic lesson uh, and they are agonizing over their misdeeds uh, because now they're watching your transformation, your rebirth. They're watching you completely emerge a different person. Like you are different. You you're just different and it's it's like it's scary to think of losing you uh so this is powerful so beautiful beautiful spirit may I have a message of peace power and protection for my beautiful scorpios spirit may I have a message of peace power and protection for my beautiful scorpios who is this person that our beautiful scorpios are attracting to them may I have them see how it's taking so long to like get the card and that's why my throat was blocking up and so we have this card here nature 74 nature and that breaks down to 11 so this is someone with 11 it breaks down to two not only does this person feel like you are the yin to their yang because this is one half of the 11 11 but this is also someone who's a little confused and conflicted because when i think of number two it's about duality it's someone stuck in two minds possibly someone trying to make a decision trying to make some sort of choice someone who is like kind of like stuck at that fork in the road and so they are pondering on what is best for them so this person's a little conflicted you know mentally maybe even emotionally they could be um conflicted because this is a green card and so with that purple that's the, the the crown chakra and the four deals with the heart chakra so this purple is is showing they are in their head about a, a, a matter that is um pertaining their heart uh love just like we were hearing you're so beautiful um and they need to build up the strength courage and wisdom to approach to express something to communicate to let their guard down to be vulnerable because we have oshun playing solar plexus so this person the solar plexus is all about uh your strength you know um but that's also deals with with your courage your wisdom your wise dome uh this person here is really up in their head confused about 
what to say, how to approach you, because that two is about taking action. I'm getting like the two of wands, um, the two of wands. But with the seven, they feel like you may be guarded, you know, because this could have been that person that potentially had you in a situation where you felt like you gave them chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity, but they only played and toyed with your heart. So now they're trying to muster up the strength and courage perhaps to return. Or maybe this isn't someone that is a karmic. Maybe this is someone that you had some sort of cool connection with, but maybe it fizzled because of someone having other options, not seeing the potential of this connection. So you all could have lost contact because the nine of wands is really giving me because this two and the seven together is nine. I'm seeing like the nine of wands where you may be coming off very guarded, someone with mad boundaries, mad walls up, you know, to this person. It doesn't make it reality. This is just how they're perceiving you. Um, their perception of you is, is that you may be guarded, but they also see you as a wish fulfillment. You know, this two and this seven reduces to nine. This is why they are desiring to come, but they are hesitant because they lack the confidence to do so. And there might be some things that are going on behind the scenes because the two is dealing with like the high priestess. So there could be some things happening, um, you know, uh, that this person is sorting out in their life. Um, we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. And we have 96 forgiveness. So what did I say? This is somebody that could potentially be from your past that you know because 96 reduces to 15 that's six so i'm getting like the six of cups where someone could have chose other options or could have had other interests at the time where you and this person were perhaps potentially building or cultivating a friendship and a relationship and before it could get started it ended so only you know who this is it doesn't have to be a karmic um, lover or someone, you know, that you were with for a long period of time. This could just be someone that, like I said, there was, you know, there was this interest, um, but it just never blossomed. And maybe this person now is revisiting, uh, the idea of you because they're realizing, you know, perhaps things with you were very natural. If it was very fluid, there was a synergy, there was some sort of chemistry. There was definitely a lot of attraction and maybe they realized their heart, um, was open. It responded, their heart responded differently to you than it perhaps did for those that they could have chose over you. So with this, they desire your forgiveness. We're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. And they are truly trying to muster up the strength and courage. Cause like I said, we have Oshun playing solar plexus. So the solar plexus, again, that's the third chakra. So this is someone really trying to, you know, work through their fears. Cause I was hearing fears earlier. Like if there are certain fears and it's like this person, will let go if this is you that I'm speaking of because remember this reading these 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 messages could be in relation to you Scorpio or it could be the energy that I'm picking up for the person you're attracting so just keep that in mind so this 96 forgiveness I feel like someone wants to apologize someone wants to express something but their throat chakra was blocked remember I was choking earlier in the reading uh we have sir all in my head I can't make this up so sir is playing all in my head so this person how they feel about you they're up in their head about you Scorpios and I'm going to show you because you know I like to show and prove prove you know a lot of people you know that may be new I like to show and prove and the time on the clock is 507 so that's 15 that's three so this person's all in their head about you because they see you like an empress if you're a feminine energy they see you like an emperor if you're a masculine energy so this person definitely is smitten by by you. This person is very attracted to you. As I said, this person may think of you as someone very nurturing, very emotionally intelligent, very strong willed master manifester. Um, perhaps some of you ladies could find yourselves pregnant. Um, maybe this is someone who, um, this could be, if this is someone from your past, if you are pregnant with a child, maybe this is someone who could be potentially returning uh, because they've had some sort of epiphany or some sort of moment of clarity. Uh, but you will know, trust your intuition. Uh, definitely. You could always forgive someone, um, whether they are, they're, uh, their apology is genuine or, or not. Forgiveness is always for you. So sometimes in certain instances, Scorpio, we may find ourselves having to um, forgive people who may never have apologized. And that is a sign of strength. That's also a sign that you've moved on from something that may have potentially um, hurt you really bad. But for whoever this is, I feel like spirits also reminding you, trust your intuition. If something doesn't feel real or authentic, if somebody seems like they're just putting on a front, then that's what it is. Ashe, and with all in my head, 
this person's really up in their head about you. I just feel like somebody's really, really um, confused, conflicted, uh, a little mentally conflicted. So they're trying to strategize because I'm getting like the three of wands also. So they could be trying to strategize how to come in, how to, you know, like reconnect. You know, they, they may want to build like some sort of alliance. They may want to... Um, build some sort of partnership with you so let's see how does this person scorpios are attracting to them feel about our beautiful scorpios may I have a message of love and of light may I have a message of peace power and protection spirit let me get a message of peace power and protection for my beautiful scorpios thank you so much and so we have surrender so didn't i say this person may feel you are a little guarded so they want you to surrender. How they feel about you is you may be surrendered. You may be guarded. So the reason what I'm picking up automatically is like, this is definitely someone who wants a new beginning with you. Um, this is definitely someone you may have had to put boundaries up with this person. So some of you all could have ghosted this person, blocked this person's number. Some of y'all could have moved away from this person. They, I just feel there's no communication perhaps between you and whoever this is. This is nine and this 90, um, this nine and this one reduces to, to 10, which is one again. They want a new beginning with you. They want to start over. I'm hearing this person because seven and this two from 74, that's nine, nine and 90, um, one, that's still, um, 10, uh, uh that's still one, excuse me. Um, you know, so this is showing, you know, cause that 18, you know, that nine and nine is 18. That's nine plus the one that makes it 10. If y'all are trying to figure out my math, but this one is showing they want a new start. They want a new beginning. This person's absolutely attracted to you. They desire you. They are very much like, this is someone who is like, they're truly trying to, um, figure out how to take action. Like they're really trying to muster up the strength, muster up the courage to come toward you, but they're strategizing a plan because as I said, they see that you've changed. They see that you've transformed. Um, and they don't want to come back like on some 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 same old same old they're trying to come in and match your fly match your vibration um we have five uh, 11 on the clock so that's seven so they will finally get it together like this person i feel is going to take action because they're going to muster up that strength and that courage and they're going to charge ahead so they're going to come in assertively but they are agonizing about the um about the the means to do so like how to to get it into action you know this is that same energy this is what's hidden so what's hidden is someone is really stressing and aggra uh ag um agonizing over you um we have um keisha and this is called your love is my drug so apparently this person is like obsessed over you like this person is like in a lot of pain over you like this person is really um really uh, i just get a sense of like, obsessed maybe passionate um they desire you something crazy uh because with your love is my drug i'm hearing addicted um ad addicted to you you know and scorpios do have that type of effect there was a brother that left a comment a couple of uh weeks ago that was like you know scorpios love is like crack and it is sometimes because you know what i'm saying the, the withdrawals folks have after dealing with a scorpio be like real you know what i'm saying but this person is really stressing over you and i feel like again this is self-imposed like instead of them sitting around thinking and thinking and thinking and driving themselves mad they need to just pick up the phone and and just you know take a chance because i feel like scorpio um regardless of who this may be like you're so cool calm and collected right now and and so at peace you know more importantly in your life that nobody could really affect your mood nobody could really come in and, and and steal your joy or stress you in any type of way because like i said many of you all if if you did not a, receive an apology it's like you've already forgiven someone you've already let that ish go so whoever this is that they like stressing for no reason basically you know what I'm talking about? Like, this is just like self-imposed, like beloved. Use your vows. <laughs> what is, <laughs> what's hidden in the energy? <laughs> what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios and who they are attracted to them? They have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, spirit. I can't make this up. This is somebody that wants a new start, a new beginning. They want to rekindle this. They want a new, this, this, they, they are like hot, heavy. They are hot and heavy, beloved. Your love is a drug. They want a new start. 44. Remember 444 showed up and 44, 449 is when I officially started the car, the, the reading, pardon me. So this is showing like, you know who this is. 
Some of you all, you know who this is. With the environment, this is someone you could have worked with, someone that you could have lived around. Maybe y'all lived in the same town. Maybe you, you went to school with this person. There's some sort of history. There's some sort of connection. This could even be in relation to family. Maybe you build you built a family with this person, cultivated a relationship with this person. I don't know. There's some sort of backstory, back history. There's some some familiarities and similar, similar, similarities. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And with this eight, you both are like in this heart space where your heart is open your heart chakra is wide open you just did a whole lot of work there's a whole lot of healing going on between the two of you this is an all green card you know what i'm talking about so this is just really showing that this person is coming in very serious that one deals with the base chakra the root so this this uh, sh this is showing that there's been a lot of work you know soul work done a lot of healing um you know maybe there was a lot of issues in in your childhood uh, associated with abandonment maybe with abuse verbal mental emotional emotional um maybe this is like familial challenges maybe there was um you know this trickled into your love ships but there was some some real healing that had to get done and i feel like this is now what you feel is self-love you know your self-discipline because you learn to put the self first you know like i said that one always deal with you um getting back to one healing thyself you know turning your pain into superpowers um being bolder being more uh of a risk taker uh but this 44 this reduces to eight yet again so like i said good news a wish fulfillment a blessing a miracle um an answered prayer someone coming in um and just really expressing their their love their gratitude with 144 um, you all are chosen, you're anointed, uh, you all have been through what you've been through so that you can help others uh, heal from what they may be going through. Some of you are authors, you're musicians, you're all artists, um, entertainers of some sort. You have gifts, beloved, that is designed to help free the minds and heal the collectives. So for whatever it is that you do, take it seriously, sharpen your sword, master your craft, because you all have a gift, you are chosen. This 144 is proof of that. I feel like whoever you're coming into union with, you may also build and develop some sort of spiritual partnership with this person. I'm just strongly getting a sense like this is preordained, this is destined, this is someone that you are meant to be with because this is like showing me like you all have been through some things, whether this is someone you know from this lifetime or a former lifetime, Scorpio. And look what time, look what we have playing. We got Legacy and this is from the 444 album. I can't get away from that number. That 444 stuck out when I turned around and remember I was saying earlier, you know, that spirit is with you guys and the, the rewards and the blessings that you are going to receive, that you are sure to receive is coming straight from your spirit team. And with this legacy, that's what you are going to build with this person. You're going to build and nurture and cultivate a legacy, a family. This is a happily ever after. This is also someone willing to put forth the work, willing to compromise, willing to be supportive, willing to be there for you. Have your back, middle and front. You know what I'm saying? Because that eight is giving me like the eight of pentacles. This also shows that like someone could also be walking away from something that no longer serves them. Maybe that's why there was no communication because with the eight and the one, the nine, this is someone that could have been in hermit mode, um, you know, reflecting on the past. And that's how they were able to discover their feelings, their emotions, uh, their desire for you and them coming in because they feel that you're the wish fulfillment or you're the one that best suits them. You're the one that they have this a la natural connection with. You're the one that they feel uh, the synergy or this chemistry with. Um, with the 67, 13, this shows, you know, the demise of a relationship in the past or the demise, the death of some sort of old concepts, old belief systems, ideologies, habits, people purging things that no longer serve you out of your life. This also shows how hard you worked, how resilient you were. That 13 is the death. So there's this death of the old, the birthing, the emergence, the regeneration, the rejuvenation of a new energy. You know, this is like... um renewal this is like the rebirth as i mentioned like transforming into uh your higher self with that 13 it reduces to four so that's that energy of of of, of power the emperor is a powerful um being he he rules empires he embodies all of the attributes of all of the kings you know uh so he's very very strong willed uh very determined he's a a, a, a action um oriented uh person he takes action um, and he also is very, uh, 
very um, um, strategic, you know, in his methodologies as well. But this 13 reduces to four. So I feel like there's going to be this time around someone being very active, you know, um, very intentional is what I'm getting. Very intentional. Maybe someone feels like they've missed an opportunity and that could be why they're like up in their head uh, as a uh, sir was speaking and that was the masculine energy that was up in their head. Or maybe there was a feminine energy up in their head about a masculine. So the outcome we have... Um, Number 22, intuition. So trust your intuition just as I advise. And we have the number four, yet um, again, perseverance. So this is really how you have been able to maintain. This is how you've also been able to heal um, because you, you, you really focused on loving yourself. You really focused on your independence. Your independence became the foundation to your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. You know, so this is really about you being sturdy, being stable, being safe. Um, you know, like I uh, mentioned with that legacy that was just plain, that's what you've been doing is like you've been really building um, your own wealth. You've been really uh you know, um, expanding your knowledge perhaps in, in, um, various ways, but this is really hard work, you know, really putting forth that work and just having a, a, a sincere love for self, a sincere love of self. There's also a masculine energy that is matching your far, your vibe, uh, your vibe, your vibration, your frequency that will speak your love language. And there goes the 444 yet again. So the angels are all around you. Your angels are definitely, like I said, you all are chosen. Uh, some of you all are earth angels. Some of you are healer, shamans, light workers. Maybe you are musicians. You have an anointing. You have, uh, um, you know, a calling. You're here for a divine purpose. Trust your intuition. For many of you, uh, your intuition um, is very sharp. As I said, you're sensitive right now. So you could be picking up on little downloads. You could be picking up on information. Trust that always go with your gut instinct. Um, there's also something I feel many of you could have been very patiently waiting for. I also feel you're attracting someone that is, um, that is also, uh, in harmony, mind, body, and soul. Like this is someone who's in equilibrium, masculine and feminine, the yin yang, uh, because I see double numbers here as I do here. And these are both six, six, which reduces to 12, which is three. So this is what you are attracting because you're vibrating on such a high frequency that you're exuding love. You're exuding confidence. You're exuding power and strength and abundance. And trust what you're feeling because you have someone coming in that's going to match your fly and your vibration this two two reduces to four that's the emperor so as i've mentioned you're going to attract what you are so when you are vibrating on a high frequency then you're going to attract someone that's also the same but this is also someone who wants to give equally like they're looking for equal give and take they're looking for an equal partnership and this is because of what you've had to persevere from, what you've had to overcome, what you've had to achieve throughout this journey, this spiritual journey, through this shadow work that you have completed. So this is beautiful. So let's tap in. So let's see which one we're going to use next. All right, let's pull the energy oracle. Spirit is telling me. Spirit said, get the uh, goddess guidance. So let's do that. Let's see what we got from the goddess guidance. And we have, who is this? Michelle and Dale Cello. And this is called Rush Over. So someone could be dealing with someone named Michelle. Um, and also don't rush. Remember, trust your intuition. Don't rush into anything. Don't let anybody, you know, speed talk you, fast talk you, gaffle you, ga give you the gift of gab. Like, trust your own intuition. Look what we got on the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up. We have Mother Mary expect a miracle, beloved. So there is an answered prayer. Why? Because of your transformation, of your renewal. You've gone through something exceptional. This was no easy feat. That's what I was hearing before I even picked up the cards. I was picking up on the energy of transformation and you all going through such an amazing, amazing um, growing pain. And, and here it is. It's it's proof in the pudding. First card to come out. It was actually the card that was on the split on the bottom of the deck. And spirit is saying, yo, expect this miracle. There's a blessing coming in. Leap of faith. It's because you took a leap of faith. For some of you all, you need to um, step out of your, your comfort zone. You know, be more spontaneous, more daring. 
you know, and also be more adventurous. It says take a risk and put your heart's true desires into action. So this is a time of renewal. So this is a time to do things the way you see fit. This is a time for prioritizing you. This is a time for you uh, putting yourselves first. You know what I'm talking about? That's about self-love, self-worth. Divine spirit of love and light. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. May I have a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful, beautiful Scorpio spirit. We have a message of peace, power, and protection. This is a beautiful reading thus far. And we have, who's this? Uh, Renee and Angela's called You Don't Have to Cry. So there's no need to cry. Some of you all are like, you know, just, you know, you, you, you just feel tired, you know. But it's like, you, you're not going to be crying for too much longer because I feel like there's some news, exciting news. You know, but things have become very overwhelming. So it's like, Spirit's like, look, you don't have to cry anymore. You know, you don't have to cry anymore because you're, you're, there's some better days ahead, beloved. There's some wishes that are going to be granted this time around. We just picked up, the, picked up the cards and it said, expect a miracle. So, you know, regardless of how things may appear, don't look at the appearance. You know, it's just like that, uh, that side view mirror on your car where it says objects are closer than they appear. Your blessing may be. You know what I'm talking about? So we have on the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up expect a miracle came back out i just shuffled the hell out of these cards and did a three i did oh, you saw me <laughs> i just cut the deck three times expect the miracle because whatever transformation whatever you've experienced it is garnering this blessing it was no easy feat we open up the reading with five five with four 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 and now we see why your spirit, your angel team is blessing you. They're rewarding you. It says, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. You have been praying fervently. You have been manifesting this, affirming this, calling this in. And now it's this blessing is here. And I was picking up on that energy. I was picking up on it before I even touched the cards. And we have fertility here. You are a divine feminine to this person. This person sees you as such. Ostara is the divine feminine in this deck. This is the empress. So whatever you've been doing, your transformation, you, it's made you very attractive in this person's eyes. And not only that, they feel a natural connection. This feels very, very natural, very like it's meant to be to this person. And this is why they're having difficulty expressing this because they don't even understand it. They don't even understand it. It's like sometimes you don't, these words can't even do it justice. It can't do justice to how you may feel. But this person loves you. This is what they see. When they see you, they see beauty. They see strength. They see that maternal energy or that paternal energy. They see someone powerful. They see someone disciplined. They see someone that's an alpha male or an alpha, alpha female. They see someone that's a great mother or a great father, a great provider, a great supporter wise this is beautiful powerful so why is this 74 nature here for this person that our beautiful scorpios are attracting to them they have a message of peace power and protection and we have hathor receptivity can't make this up so there was a lack of receptivity how this person the person you're attracting is someone this is what happened in the past perhaps this person was definitely very confused and conflicted because remember i said that 74 reduces to two so this is someone who could have been stuck in two minds they could have been juggling at the time and there was a lack of receptivity they didn't they weren't receptive perhaps to what you was putting down they weren't picking up maybe they weren't picking up your phone calls maybe they weren't answering or responding to your text messages until two three days later you know what i'm saying and that made you feel like oh damn like oh it's like that beloved but this person, they had a, there was no, there was no um, reciprocity is what I'm picking up in this connection. And it says, allow yourself to um, receive, you know, this will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to, you know, to uh, give to others. So this person was, uh, maybe they had a lack mentality. Maybe they weren't um, ever, um you know, used to having a healthy balance in a relationship. Maybe they were used to uh, whoever they were with to take care of everything, to nurture them, to show them affection. But they weren't really big on giving love and giving attention or being attentive or being affectionate. And so now spirit is saying to this person, like, allow yourself to receive. So they have to open up. If you're clammed up and you don't allow someone in, then that does um, cause imbalance in the partnership, in the relationship. And that could have been what 
cause the breakdown ultimately between the connection with you. Um, you know, even like I said, if this is not a love connection, if this was just something that you were, you were in the beginning stages, y'all were kind of trying to feel it out. And maybe this person was just not receptive, you know, and I feel it's not because they weren't interested. It's because this person was very guarded. Uh, it has a lot to do with their inner child, with their uh, past life, you know, with what they experienced um, in their relationship, starting with their mother, starting with their father. So this had nothing to do with you. They just were the product of whatever they went through. And that's why spirit is like, look, now you need to open up, beloved. It's like a closed, you know, like that clam. You have to like open it up. You got to pry it open. And I feel like this person has been healing slowly, but surely they're learning to trust. They're learning to be more vulnerable. This is beautiful. How this person feels about you, we have blossoming on the bottom of the deck. So they've watched you literally like blossom into this, this, this beautiful, new, beautiful being that you are. And we have, um, um, Erica Badu uh, featuring Andre 3000 and it's called hello. So this person is going to reach out, you know, uh, because this person feels like something can blossom. They feel like, you know, with that one that this reduces to, I feel like with surrender, if you are willing to open up and if they're willing to open up, Maybe the both of you are very guarded and blocked off because maybe the both of you have just wrapped up cycles where you were going through karmic lessons, uh, uh, dealing with karmic people. Maybe you just had to purge a bunch of folks out of your lives. Maybe both of you are in this guarded space. And spirit is just saying because spirit is telling you to surrender and then they're telling them to be, you know, receptive, which is one and the same. So it's like you have to be opened uh, to what you desire you can't be closed off and then be praying for love on top of it you have to be open you have to be open to the idea you have to be open to you know the possibilities even and so with this blossom and this is what this person sees when they see you they see this this beautiful you know like earth angel you know this beautiful uh person who has just evolved and emerged someone completely different um and they see that you have like really been able to like go through some sort of like cleansing, some spiritual uh, purification. Like you just, you've just completely, it's like a renewal when they look at you. So why is this 91 surrender here for how this person Scorpio is attracting to them feel about our beautiful Scorpios? May have a message of love and a message of light, a message of peace, power and protection. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. On the bottom of the deck, we have purification. I literally just said that. So this is what they feel. What's hidden is there's a deep cleansing. There's also a need to do a spiritual bath. Some of you all may um, be utilizing, um, calling on Mother uh, Mama Yemenya. Um, you may also be calling on Mama Oshun. Um, I feel if you call either, there is definitely some healing uh, that could take place. That could take place. Many of you are also fertile at this time, so be mindful, be careful. But what flew out for you is this person feels that you are the high priestess, so they feel you're very psychic, and that's something that could be intimidating you, uh, intimidating them in um, regards to coming towards you and in, in regards to communicating with you because they feel like you are very like psychic. You're on it. You know your ish. It's like they also see you as like a spiritual teacher, a healer, uh, some sort of shaman. Like you are like spiritually strong, as I said. And with this hello, they do want to speak to you. Maybe they communicate with you telepathically. You know, maybe they dream about you a lot, just as I said. Uh, but they feel that you have divine knowledge, that you're very informed, that you're very wise and vast independent also flew out and that's literally what i said so you know your independence is the form of you know your your happiness and your joy and this is how they see you you know maybe you were in the past like in a codependent relationship or maybe you were married maybe you were partnered up maybe this person was partnered up or in a relationship but now it's like with this independent it's like that that new energy that new singlehood looks good on you but it's also frightening to this person because just the fact that you know like anybody could pull up they feel like any like you could draw the att attention of anyone and at any moment they could lose you so this independence you know is something that they may be um a little um a little afraid of like you know because they see you as just strong and, and wise and it's almost like you know you're, you're this this type of energies it can be intimidating to be um, honest with you, but with this purification, just as I said, like, you know, th there's been, 
a lot that has been taking place, you know, especially when you're wrapping up karmic cycles and you're dealing with karmic people and you're just, you, it's, it's a time for purging. It's a time for letting go, for cutting the cords, for just, you know, making sure to, to take those spiritual baths, baths as necessary, just to get that old energy off of you. Um, and I feel like this is the time, especially with this 144 for what's hidden. This is what we are about to clarify and purification is there. So it's like many of you all, as I said, you have an anointing and a calling on your lives and spirit is saying it's time for you to like completely uh you know purge go to some through some sort of spiritual um cleansing or healing uh maybe it's time for some of you to fast um to you know to, uh to uh, change up your, your eating habits, eat more leafy greens, um, eat more fruits and vegetables, cut out certain meat or eat meat. Uh, if you have to have meat or, uh, you know, anything of that nature, like, you know, cut it down to a, like maybe once a week, you know, or twice a week opposed to every day, you know, but it's time to really start eating lighter. This is, we're approaching the new year, you know, the, the spring equinox is coming up and that's really a very powerful time of of regeneration as well um you know that is the true new year and so we are entering into a very powerful time and so you know make sure to clean your homes uh start your spring cleaning early i've already started mine definitely start throwing away things you don't need um or take it down to your local um your local um um what do you call them uh good lord goodwill thank you spirit um take it to your local goodwill take it to you know a shelter if you can you know if you have clothing women's clothing or men's clothing suits ties shoes take it to a men's shelter or a woman's shelter those people you know that are there they're in need you know a lot of them don't have professional clothing with that they could wear to uh you know a job interview a lot of them don't have much of anything you know so it's like it's it, I prefer taking it there than taking it to like a Goodwill who's just going to take it and, and put a price tag on it and resell the stuff that you just gave them uh, totally free of charge. To me, I'd rather give it to people who need it like here, take it, no cost, have fun, live your best life, love it. But that's just me. But yeah, you know, clean, you know, I'm hearing definitely get some um, spring cleaning done. Do it before the spring equinox. Like don't be late to the game. Like do it before the spring equinox like definitely my throat is getting blocked again beloveds all right so let's tap in so <coughs> let me get us another sip of my water water oh it's so refreshing oh i love my water all right so all right, and go outside. Get your asses up out the house, beloveds. I hope y'all still ain't holding up the house. Like, how you still hit sitting in the house? I don't care if it's cold. Go get that nice brisk walk in. Get some fresh air. Even if you sit outside for like, you know, for like a half hour, hour or something. You know, if a half, if an hour is too long, just, you know, just go outside, get some fresh air. Go to a park, sit down. You know what I'm talking about? Like, but it's time to go outside because when you go outside, I'm telling you, you literally, it's like instant decompression. It's like instant. It happens instantaneously. If you are having a bad day or if you feel boggled down with drama and negativity, if you are overwhelmed with stress, it's like the moment you step outside and smell that prana and breathe in that, pr that prana and you just around the trees and you're hearing the birds, it, you instantly feel better instantly trust and believe beloved so go outside get some fresh air there's also some downloads for you all you know there's also some some downloads you know so so uh many of you could be coming out of that hermit mode also you know like i said many of you could have been like really in hermit mode um you know taking the time to go back reflect introspect do those self audits and now you're going to go outside remember i was hearing diana ross i'm coming out do, do. i want the world to know got to let it show you know what i'm talking about i ain't going to even try to hit that that high note <laughs> i ain't gonna play myself like that beloved all right so what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful scorpio may i have a message of peace power and protection what is hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios? That flew up like, yeah. And then this one is sticking out. So this one wants to be taken as well. So we have, who is that? Blossoming. 
So something's blossoming. Some seeds that you planted in the past, they are blossoming. They are, you, 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 you planted them in good faith and they are blossoming, beloved. It's going to bring some sort of wish fulfillment because look what's on the bottom of the deck, true love. So this is a love you may have manifested. It says this, the romantic stirrings in your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love. So many of you have, like I said, opened up your heart chakra. And the more you open up your heart chakra and you, ex you, you exude love, you're just going to attract what you are. And we have boundaries. Some of you all are too guarded. Remember, that's what I was saying also. So you may have boundaries right now. You may be very guarded because of what you experienced in the past. But remember, surrender, be receptive. Nothing can come to you if you all guarded and blocked off. But this is what we have here. This is what's clarifying this 144 new beginnings and environment. We have boundaries and we also have blossoming. So something that you may not even know like I said, it's happening behind the scenes because your angels, ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes to bring you something really dope, something really beautiful. So let's tap in. And we got true love here on the bottom of the deck. So the outcome seems like, you know, many of you may know already that you have a divine feminine or masculine coming in. This is like the yin to your yang. This is someone you will have that, 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 that each equal give and take, like someone that you will have that balance, you know? You won't have to ask this person to do the obvious. They won't have to ask you to do the obvious. What did I say? A lot of you all are healers, shamans, light workers, medicine men, medicine women. Wow, this is powerful. So let's tap in. Why is 22 intuition here? For my beautiful Scorpios, the outcome, they have a message of peace, power, and protection. So this card is choosing itself. There's two of them. Peace. I can't make this up. Peace. It says, there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. And this is Irene. So whatever it is that you have been calling on, you know it's coming. You have expectations of this. And we have Mother Earth. Some of you all have a very beautiful connection to Mother Earth. Some of you all are definitely environmentalists. But you are also called to um, ground yourselves, to stop... Uh, stay, you know, stop living in your head, you know, some, this could be that masculine or that person that I was picking up on because they could be up in their head. Maybe they're stressed out and with peace here, they're worrying about nothing with sensitivity, Kuan Yin or white Tara, pardon me. This is also saying, like I said, you all are very psychic right now. So your psychic abilities could be very amplified at this, at this moment. And this could be why intuition flew out because within, um, the outcome being peace. It's like everything is at peace. Everything is at ease. I feel like you're very grounded at this time. And that's why you are attracting what you want, who you want to you, because your energy is in equilibrium. And that's a very beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. So let's see what we got coming. We're going to use the Orisha Tarot today, beloved. It's been a little minute. So what do we have here? Let me see what we got. All right. So... Who is that? All right, we got the hermit. So look at the hermit. I mentioned the hermit for this energy that's uh, hidden. And there goes the hermit. And look what he's doing. He's about to come up, come up out of the bat cave. You know what I'm talking about? Because whatever, you know, assessments, whatever he was assessing, whatever he was going over, reviewing, whatever awareness he was seeking, it's like he's found it. He's discovered it. And that's why he's on this new voyage. He's on a new, you know, on this new path. So that's beautiful. So we have... What is this? The Ace of Cups. Can't make this up. So the healing has taken place. The purification, the purge, you know, the purging of people, places and things, the healing from past pains, wounds and traumas, even of this lifetime, you know, dealing with childhood trauma, familial trauma, love ship breakups, like whatever this is, it's like this is the deep cleansing. And this is also that energy of like Mama Oya. You know, I said Mama Oya, pardon me, but maybe some of you all have a connection with Mama Oya because she is scorpionic energy. You know, she she rules change. She deals with the 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 weather, you know, the storm. That's what storm uh, from the movie um, X-Men. She is made in, um, you know, in, in honor of uh, Mama Oya. But this is that Yemen, -ya, that Oshun energy. You know, this is a powerful energy of like just healing and transformation, renewal. Um, 
It's also an energy of clean, uh, cleansing, deep cleansing. And I see the four of discs. So there's been a lot of, of, of like holding back and just really focusing on the self. You know, really holding back. But there's also someone that's been holding on to you. I see the Page of Cups. So you may have a, like a secret admirer. This could be someone, you know, because he's kind of like hiding behind his hat. You know, and the Page of Cups could be like a new love interest. This could be someone new entering into your life. But this could also be someone from your past, you know, just waiting for an opportunity. And as I mentioned, like there was no communication because you've been in hermit mode. Hermit mode requires, you know, that time of isolation, you know, not being around all the noise of the outside world or even your, your, your family, your friends, like just really pulling away and just working on the self, studying, learning, researching, building your spiritual, your spiritual knowledge, your spiritual um, intelligence. So this is beautiful. And so what do we have here? This is the six of wands and this is also the hermit yet again. So look at that. Look at that fork in the road for the six of wands. So I was speaking to a fork in the road and that could have been what, you know, triggered some need to go within and investigate the self to gain some sort of self-awareness. Maybe someone was definitely like confused and conflicted because remember, we do have that 74, which was the two. And I was saying the person you're attracting was, you know, maybe in the past they were kind of confused because they had options or maybe there was some karmic situations going on that you may not have known about, you know, and it's showing up in the cards though. <laughs> so let's tap in, beloved. But the Six of Wands is about a victory, you know, a victorious ending. Remember, we saw happy ending. So, you know, the beginning could have been real salty, real, 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 you know, fugazi, but the, the ending is going to be just magnificent. It's going to be, a, it's going to be better than you can and even imagine better than you can anticipate is what I'm hearing in my mind, especially with expect a miracle. Like some of you all don't even see this coming. Some of you all are like literally going to be caught off guard. So we have here the two of discs. So that was the juggling, but this is also just showing how hard you've been working. You know, when you're dealing with a lot, that's like juggling multiple tasks, responsibilities, wearing multiple hats. So not only, like I said, were you perhaps the breadwinner, the head of household, like the mother, the head of, you know, the father, if you're a single mother, a single father, it's like, not only were you that, but you were also having to go and, 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 and make the money, you know, and then you had to come home and cook the meals, clean the house. You had to, you know, so it was a lot of responsibility responsibility on one person juggling many things and that's why spirit is rewarding you because not only were you doing that you were also doing spiritual work you know you were doing some spiritual construction on yourselves healing from past pains wounds and traumas breaking generational curses hexes yokes you know this is you and this is why spirit is like look you better that blessing that request those those petitions you were sending up trust and believe it's coming you know those answered prayers because we saw how hard you were working we saw how hard you worked, you know, to acquire what you have, but this didn't stop you from, from the change that was, you know, necessary. On the bottom of the deck, we have nine of cups. So this is, we're about to clarify the mess, uh, the person that you're attracting to you. And remember we have 74 nature and then we have receptivity and then we have the nine of cups. So this is definitely someone who could also be learning the value of loving themselves. You know, the value that, you know, self-love is an inside job, putting themselves first, prioritizing themselves. Self-love, you know, always makes you more attractive. This also speaks to someone who could also see you as someone uh, that's loving themselves because, you know, with that independent card that flew out for how they felt about you, um, it's, you know, this card here, it's like they see now that you are no longer willing to overcompensate, self-sabotage, um, give more than you're willing to receive. Like you're looking for equal give and take. You're looking for an equal exchange. And now they want to come in and match your vibration, match your fly speak because they too speak your love language. But this is someone now, you know, they feel like you are potentially a wish fulfillment. Um, but this is someone who's also single. Um, and they're also very guarded when it comes to love as well, uh, because I feel like their heart has been broken. So why is the 74 receptivity here? Uh, for who Scorpio is attracting to them. And we have the number three of cups. So this is someone definitely wanting to reunite, reconnect and reconcile. Like this is someone that wants to rekindle this connection. And, th and this is really and what we have playing right now is radiant children go left. So I feel like this is that person, you know, they, they went left when they should have went right. 
you know, and, and they got left behind <laughs> because you kept it pushing, beloved. So, you know, maybe there was third party shenanigans. Maybe they got caught up because uh, I was picking up like they could have had options. There was other people, other parties, other suitors, other interests. There was just like a sense of just juggling multiple things or being stuck at a fork in a row, unclear, unsure in two minds. And with this three of cups, this is showing like maybe that's the reason why, you know. Um, but I also feel that, that that's the reason why they weren't as receptive because maybe they had other interests. Maybe they were, um, you know, like an attention whore at the time, or maybe this person simply just, you know, didn't know how to, um, you know, how to show affection and attention, uh, atten attention, but I feel ultimately like they want to reunite. Like this is someone that does want to celebrate this connection. This is someone that does want to return. Um, this is someone that does, um, feel that the connection the two of you share is very uh a la natural like this synergy this chemistry uh and maybe this is something they're just now realizing um maybe the two of you used to uh hang out a lot you know and maybe the conversation that they used to have with you was a little more um stimulating they had more fun they shared more laughs this could be something that they are like literally like daydreaming about because when i look at these three people you know it's like the two people are kind of like looking at this masculine, but he's like all almost daydreaming, you know, in, in, in La La Land somewhere, you know? So it's almost like he, he got caught daydreaming, thinking about you. They probably asking him a question and he's sitting there spacing out. And remember we had sir saying you're all in my head. So this person could be really thinking about you a lot, but what caused the breakdown and the demise of the connection is, you know, the fact that they were juggling, they were confused and into minds and also just kind of like self-sabotaging. But this person is ob obviously like they're, their body's there, physically they're there, but mentally living somewhere else, like I said. So what we have here on the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. So we're about to pull the card for how they feel about you. And how they feel about you is not only have you grown spiritually, like you're spiritually stronger, wiser, uh, but they also, they can envision marriage, you know, partnership, commitment, this is someone that really feels like you're the yin to their yang. If you look at this masculine and feminine, they're literally the opposite of one another. You know, the background here is yellow. The background here is green. He's green. She's yellow. And yellow is the color of vitality, uh, illumination, strength, love, um, you know, um, and also green is the color of love, color of um, the heart chakra. You know, so this is someone now who sees, you know, like, you know, that you are the yin to their yang, like you reflect, you know, you, you're a mirrored reflection of them and they feel the same of, about you. It's almost as if this person is seeing you in a whole new light. They didn't see it before. And we have Adam and Eve playing. I can't make this up. And this is by, um, who is this? It says Annie different. You know how they be putting different names when you download songs. But the name of the song is, um, uh, ooh, please don't mess up. It's um, um, Adam and Eve. So that's very interesting. So Adam and Eve, you know, when you think of Adam and Eve, that could be either the devil's card or the lover's card. And so remember, we was feeling like, you know, this person could have been like a little obsessed or a little addicted to you. Uh, but they also feel like you are, you know, kind of like that one that got away. They feel like, you know, you, you match their fly, their vibration and look at his eyes. It's almost like he's, you know, holding back tears, you know, and, and maybe this is a memory, you know, she could be in, in you know, he up in his head, sort of very interesting because it's almost like as if he's like you know remembering a time remembering you know a time when they may have taken a walk out in nature or maybe they met in an outside setting so let's see why is 91 surrender high priestess independent here for how this person scorpios are attracting to them feels about them they have a message of peace power and protection thank you and we have who is that? The Queen of Swords. So this person feels you cold, you ice cold, but this is the King of Cups that flew out, beloved. So they do love you. This is somebody that wants to, they, like, they, they can see being devoted to you, committed to you, uh, building a legacy, a partnership, a friendship, uh, cultivating a connection with you. This is someone that loves on a high level, on a high scale. Like, they don't play with love. And I feel like they are very reserved. This is why that I was getting blocked off, like my throat was getting blocked because 
The King of Cups is like that crab. You know, he he's kind of clamped up, closed up, very reserved, doesn't really express, doesn't really emote, is not vulnerable. And that's why this person is um, scared to death that you're going to be like, you know, you chopping heads like Wu-Tang style. You know, protect your neck. This person is, is, is fearing the worst and desiring your forgiveness. But I feel like they're eventually going to open up their throat chakra, open up their mouth and communicate. Because you see, he's kind of like, like finally opening his mouth here. This is like he's quiet. He's just living in his head. But here is going to express something. And with Adam and Eve, they do feel like this is like equal give and take. Like this is because with that 74 nature, I feel like this person sees you as like, you know, this the connection is harmonized. It's in sync. You're on their frequency. You speak their love language. Like they enjoy um, being around you. They enjoy the time with you. This is someone that's really, really um, thinking a lot about this connection. And this could be someone that you lost contact with. You know, if this isn't a former lover or uh, someone that you dated or whatever the case may be, this could be just someone that you were cool with this person. Maybe you worked together because I was picking up like you, you're familiar with this person by some means. Um, there's some history. So whether you worked with this person in the past, maybe you lived in the complex or in a building with this person on a block with this person in a development, um, you know, in the same community development, uh, there, there's some, some familiarity. Maybe you exchange numbers with this person. You both attended the same, uh, you know, same college or maybe the same gym, whatever it is like this person is definitely, um, thinking of you deeply. And this queen of swords says it all. They feel like you're cold. They feel like you're guarded. They feel like you're going to just chop their head off. You know, you know, they feel like you, you are ice queen right now. Like you, you, you know what I'm saying? You out here skating on, skating on folks. All right, so let's tap in. So what? why is um one new beginning, 44 environment blossoming and boundaries here for the um what's hidden? And so what is this? And this is the seven of swords. So didn't I tell you somebody's like watching you and spying on you? And we got Cardi B, be careful playing. So... Someone was definitely um, being very, like, very much um, a master manipulator, very conniving, very sneaky in your past. And especially with be careful. It's like this person wasn't careful. I'm going to show you because, you know, I can show you better than I could tell you. Cardi B is currently playing be careful and it's 5, five, five on the clock. All right, so be careful, and it's 555, five, five. that reduces to what, 15, at 6. So trust your intuition, remember intuition is here. So for some of you all, because you're the chosen one, you got some haters hating on the sideline, you know what I'm saying? See how you got your, you know, you got your, your protective boundaries up. This could be like one of those, um, you know how they have those, um, those sting gates, like if you come up and touch it, like they usually have that for like, you know, if they have a farm, I can't remember what they call it, electrical gates, like electric gates or something. It's like you got your guard up. So trust your, your intuition, trust your spidey senses, because you do got some haters. And it's literally because of, you know, who you are, you know, who you're destined to be, who you were born to be. This is like you, you have a calling and an anointing on your life. And so you're going to have a lot of people like watching you. You know, if you are in the spotlight and limelight, if you are in, you know, the public um, you know, if you, you, if you are a, a public speaker or, or, you know, you have some sort of platform where others can kind of tune in and tap in, um, not everybody is tuning in, congratulating and celebrating you got a lot of folks hating. And some of you all know who these people are already. These are people obviously not in your cipher because they looking from the outside in, you know what I'm talking about? And so you're obviously untouchable. You know, when I look at this white infrastructure, this building, it's like spirit is covering, covering you anyway. And you're also wise enough to have boundaries. But I feel like if this connection um, is what I feel it is, which is a very uh, ordained union, um, a destined union, um, this connection in and of itself is also protected. I feel spirit is saying your blessings, your rewards are also protected as well. You know, but also be mindful um, of who you allow in your cipher. We have the devil here on the bottom of the deck. I didn't even see it. 
So this devil is a trickster. He's a liar. He's a duper. He will dupe you. He will lie. He will deceive. He will manipulate. And if you see here, this is somebody like blowing smoke. So someone could be literally doing like some sort of um, um, black magic spells, root work, voodoo, hooju, juju, santaria. They could be going to some sort of priestess. And with the seven of swords here, just watch your back, middle, front. You know, call on your angels and your guys. Do not like just just go into anything um, without you know let, letting it sit right in your spirit first and foremost. Because what's hidden is y'all got some hating ass folks watching you. You know, and and with this crossroad, they could be doing that spell where you throw where you um, like plant something at a crossroad. You know, so this is somebody being very intentional doing something, and we still have um, what is this? Who is this? Oh, Amari energy. So trust the energy that you're picking up on folks. And with that 555 we just saw, um, that that's your root chakra. 15 reduces to six. That's I said your root chakra. I'm tripping, tripping. That's your first style. So trust your intuition. Use your intuition, beloved. We're about to clarify the energy for intuition. And remember, spirit is telling you. But remember, spirit also said, that everything is working out beautifully. So your haters, they, they're going to be mad regardless. You know, they're mad because they're so busy, you know, projecting all this negative ish and it's just getting blown right back at them because you're so protected with that 144. It's like everything that's being thrown at you is being returned right on back to sender. Instantly, infinitely, it never ends. It's like they don't realize they're playing with fire. They too stupid enough to know that you got a calling on yourself and that you are protected, like spirits protecting you. And you're going to be at peace regardless. You're, all of your needs, wants, desires are going to be provided by spirit. Someone is obsessively watching over, wa watching you because this looks like eyes. So this person is just like watching over you. They could be doing, like I said, some sort of spell work. So definitely that's why spirit was saying, like, do some spiritual baths, purify your energy, cleanse yourself, cleanse your homes, do some purging, like get rid of old stuff, old jewelry, old clothing. Like you don't need to get rewarded for something if you're doing it from the kindness of your heart. You know what I'm saying? Now you can get that little piece of paper. If you do choose to take it to like the goodwill, they'll give you like a little, um, you know, a tax write off. You know, and that's a good way to pay it forward because that also gives you, you know, that's like some some funds you could put into um, your business or put into your household or whatever. So it's circulating. It's not cash money, but you can still get something back in return just from, you know, the gesture alone. So divine spirit of love and light. Why is OK? Look at this. Check this out. All of these cards flew out and we have um, what is this? This is the nine of swords. This is that person up in their head. They went from the eight of swords to the nine of swords. But you see they're coming outside. You know, look at this dark ass house too. And this is someone you're not speaking to because the sword is down and is stuck in the ground. So this person looks like he's coming out finally of the dark. Like he's coming out of this dark place. Maybe he was like um, someone was doing spell work. Someone was doing something to manipulate someone, to keep someone stuck and stagnant. And they're finally coming out. But look what came out to clarify these cards. So the devil. Remember, spirit was like, trust your intuition. Use your inner wisdom. You know what I'm talking about? Like, just be mindful because there's some folks that's minding your business. Stay grounded. Just trust in spirit. Trust in the divine because they're going to make sure you and everything you need, you require is going to be taken care of. We got judgment here. So this devil is going to get judged. They're going to get a little bite of karma. Like karma is going to visit them. Mama, my eye has everyone's address. So whatever this little devil is trying to conjure up, it's going to come right back to him. What goes around comes right on back around again. And so whatever they're doing, they're going to be judged because the universe sees all. Mama Ot sees all. Mama Ot knows all. So this person is going to be judged. And that's why spirit is like, oh, trust. You're going to be I. Right. You good. You and your children, you and your family, you and yours, y'all Gucci. Whoever this person is, this devil that's stalking and watching and creeping and crawling and all up in your B.I., they're going to have to answer for everything they do, for every misdeed. If they're doing root work, they're going to pay for that. If they're doing any type of spell work, they're going to pay for that. If they're trying to manipulate your energy, they're going to pay for that. If they're trying to send you psychic attacks, they're going to pay for that. And you know how I know? Because spirit already said it. It's on the bottom of the deck. The nine of swords. This is agonizing. This is stressing. This is up at 
late at night, tossing, turning, witching hours, whoever this is, they're going to get it right on back in return. We got the Ace of Swords here. You done cut that ass off. Chop, chop, suey. This is also speaking to communication. This is also speaking to clarity. This is you having the clarity to make the right decisions, to cut off the right folk, to cut off the right circumstances that no longer serve your highest good. And we also have the King of Swords, highly intuitive, intelligent. You do not fall for the okie doke. Not like that, like this. You're going to cut those strings that this damn puppet master is trying to control you with. But you already see what you need to see. And Mama Ma Ah is going to return everything back to sender. Spirit is telling you, stay grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Stay grounded like a tree, beloveds. Because whoever is sending you anything, they're going to have to res they're going to have to pay for that. They're going to have to pay for that. If you reap in good faith, you 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 get good. You know, you you receive blessings. If you you reap. If you sow in bad faith, I'm saying reap. If you sow in good faith, you're going to receive blessings. If you sow in bad faith, you're going to pay for that. Karma Dharma, beloved. So let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. And then we're going to wrap it up, beloved. So let's see. So let's see what we got. I'm going to use my desk. We got cheesing from ear to ear on the bottom of the deck. It says the courtship. And it says, let your guard down. So that sounds very much like receptivity and the surrender card. So you got to be opened, you know, you got to be open. You got to be receptive if you want to, um, you know, draw in love, manifest love, call in love. So divine spirit of love and love. Why is the 16 rebirth mother Mary expect a miracle? And there's two of discs here for the um, overall energy. May I have a message of love, message of light. So this card is sticking out. I'm going to take that. That's your message. And it says cheesing from ear to ear. I can't make this up. Same card flew right back out. So there's a miracle that's going to have you very happy. And we saw that with happy ending from the numerology deck. So they, they, they promised you were going to have a happy ending. And now spirit is saying, you're going to be cheesing from ear to ear. Someone is coming in to court you. So this could be like a new love interest. This could be someone, um, that's on your frequency. This is a very beautiful connection. And I feel like this is a uh, something you've prayed for and manifested. It says perform a, a grounding ritual. Kick your shoes off and plant your feet in the dirt. So some of you all um, definitely need to get out in nature. Um, if you are in, you know, those areas where the climate, you know, the weather is warmer. Um, instead of just going out and sitting out side like spirits is literally saying connect with mother Gaia so you know take your shoes off maybe you already do that um I do uh you know I was just taking a walk outside barefoot you know it was literally like 60 plus degrees out here so I take my shoes off all the time that's just me I've been doing that for years um but yeah take your shoes off when you're outside and really ground yourself it also helps like purge you know it really is um a a, a, a powerful way uh, to release, you know, and, and to rejuvenate your spirit. You'll be amazed at how rejuvenated and revitalized you feel after walking um, barefooted, you know, outside. Um, you'll be like, dang, if your feet was hurting, for instance, and you decide to take your shoes off and um, walk around, your feet won't hurt no more. I guarantee it, beloved. So we have perform a grounding ritual. So some of you all need to do that for your person. Um, they're also being told, um, you know, to, to kind of like meditate to get something straight. Um, they need to come into harmony, uh, with them, with them, their higher selves, because obviously there are some decisions you can see here, they're spacing out, uh, a lot is on their mind. So spirit is telling them they need to come on back down to, uh, you know, Come on back down to reality, beloveds, because perhaps they've been in the la la land a little long. Um, and, and it's really like um, it's kind of like, you know, affecting the way that they are uh, perceiving things, you know, so they need to come on back down to reality. Maybe someone it's almost like they got uh, someone have them like in a trance also, like she could be feeding him something that has him a little, um, you know, feeding him and giving him drink that's like. It's not his, he's not being his authentic self because remember with this devil here, um, I always tell y'all like the energy that comes out, it not only has to deal with you, uh, but it could be the person you're attracting. And with this devil here, like, you know, maybe the, this person was dealing with someone um, that was putting some sort of root work on him and look how they're both just looking at them 
like as if they're waiting for a response or reaction. And this person damn near looks like he's like spaced out and she's just sitting there with these fresh herbs. And that's typically, um, you know, a part of the recipe to to manipulating not even manipulating, but like alchemizing certain um, rituals. So whoever you're dealing with <clears throat> could be, and my throat is getting blocked yet again. And whoever that is, um, that's doing this root work is, 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 is affecting this person's ability to uh, communicate. It's, it's stunting their ability to open up their mouth. That's probably why they're up in their head so much because they have this block on their throat chakra. There's like a block on this person's throat chakra. <clears throat> and we have, um, this is common. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I'm choking. And, and this is called faithful. See that? So whoever this is, this person, whoever they're dealing with, they're dealing with someone because this is what's here for the person. We're about to pull the energy for the person you're attracting to you. And it says perform a, a grounding ritual. So somebody is doing something to keep them faithful, to keep them with them. Like this is codependency. And this is with common. I just get, I feel like this person needs to use their common sense. Your common sense is typically, is literally like your intuition, your instinct. It's your sixth sense. So that's where common sense is coined. It's like use your common sense because we all have it. It's just, it's not as common because a lot of people don't use it. But this person needs to use their common sense. Don't eat from this person. Don't drink from this person. Um, and you might want to just bolt the hell up out of there because something is, you know, is, um, isn't right. You know, dang, they need to get out of whatever house, whatever household they're in. You know, because remember the 74 is their energy and that too, that's like conflicted, the fork in the road. And remember, this is what that looks like right here. You know, it's like that fork, you know, even though this is like a crossroads, but it's like this person is stuck there. They're stuck. So someone is doing something to keep someone stuck, contained, you know, and they look spaced out. So this is very, 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 very interesting. So why is the 74 nature, Hathor, receptivity, and the three of cups here? <clears throat> so this could be some sort of third party, some sort of karmic. Divine spirit of love and light. Divine spirit. They have a message of peace, power, and protection. Okay, so a couple of cards. That spirit got a lot to say about this person. And we got dream catcher, nightmares, witching hours, protection needed. I can't make this ish up. I can't make this ish up. It says, Mama Yemen, I love thyself. You are beautiful. It says, protect thy family. Then we have... Every evil eye that's watching you shall go blind. Impenetrable wall of protection. So this is beautiful because Mama Yemenya is a very nurturing energy. She's also very protective of the family. And I did mention Mama Yemenya and Mama Oshun when that purification card came out. So she's protecting this person. Your person does have protection. There's big Mama energy uh, protecting um, the person you're attracting to you. So whether they have a beloved grandmother, a beloved mother, auntie, sibling, watching over them, they are being protected. There's a couple more cards here. So it says frenemies, they don't really rock with you like that. So someone is dealing with a lot of fugazis, a lot of people um, that aren't necessarily cool with them. They they were dealing with a lot of snakes. I just feel like somebody was dealing with a lot of snakes. And that's why this third party card is here. And that's why these two people are kind of like looking at this person. Because it's like they're not even, these are not real friends. And whatever they were doing, it's like they're just sitting there like looking at this person for their response. Looking at like whatever they're doing, in that whatever they're doing that's hidden, whether it's black magic, ritual work, it's like they're waiting to see how this person is going to respond or react to whatever manipulation they're doing. With you will be the first millionaire um, in your family, it is written. That could be the reason why someone is trying to keep someone stuck or keep someone there with them because they feel like this person is their meal ticket or they're going to um, get them out of a situation with blocka, 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 I think snata. This is also what your, your person needs to do. They need to completely cut themselves free from this, whoever this is, because this is not good intention, uh, good energy. And then we have um, these cards all face down. So I feel like these are cards that for how they feel about you. So... <clears throat> So it says you radiate love and light shine bright. 
So remember with that energy, I was picking up like this person sees you as like that empress or the emperor, you know, very, very uh, much, uh, you got your ish together. Like you're very wise, uh, especially with that, you know, independence, uh, and that high priestess energy. It's like, you have divine knowledge. You've, you've transformed, um, you've gone through, you know, enormous change. You've elevated, uh, consciously, emotionally. And so now you're just exuding and vibrating, you know, at a frequency that's very, very attractive. Um, chemistry of love, I plus you equals we equals us. So this is what they feel. I was picking up on that energy. Remember we had Adam and Eve. I was also picking up on like the two of cups, the, um, Six of Cups also showed up, so that's like the lovers. But this person feels there's a chemistry and a synergy because the 74 nature, I was feeling like you all had some sort of, uh, you know, strong chemistry. This person felt like the connection was natural, um, just organic, real. And this is why. So whoever you are calling in or whoever you're attracting, whoever you're manifesting, this person's in a very toxic connection with someone who got them uh, all trapped with voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santaria. This person, um, is going to eventually cut themselves free from whatever this is. And whoever is doing this will obviously, um, receive a little dose of karma dharma for manipulating someone's energy. Uh, because the truth is going to be revealed regardless. One thing you can't do is, you know, stop the truth from coming to light. And so your person is going to realize they need to block someone out. They need to create boundaries and they're going to uh, start to see things for what they truly are. The more they are protecting their peace or the more um, they create like a safe space for themselves. Uh, they also feel like with pay attention to the signs, spirit, you know, could be telling them that it's time to take action. It's time to make the first move. It's time to communicate. They're receiving some sort of downloads and they also see you again. Again, like your grounded balance and in alignment. I feel that they take, um, you know, the advice of spirit and they do, um, you know, ground themselves, perform that grounding ritual. So this could be how they receive like those little transmissions from spirit. Uh, they also see that you don't, you don't like, you don't really stress much. Like you're completely different. You see how it says, you know, it says, um, inhale peace, exhale bull ish and and that inhale peace portion is literally like just this is that energy you're in you know your peace you're at peace you're you're in harmony you know you're in equilibrium if you will and we have cut your losses you'll be rewarded greatly so this sword is going to allow your person first they're going to block someone and then they're going to finally just discard of whatever this is, this toxicity, this negativity, this old hating ass energy, they are going to cut their losses because they know that you are the reward. You are the catch. This is some powerful ish. And with this nightmare, this is a sign that you have someone working on you or someone is doing some sort of spell work. This person could also be suffering from insomnia or, um, you know, having some sort of uh, nightmares or dreams during these witching hours. We have poetic justice. So it's going to be, there's justice is going to be served uh, for whoever's doing this. So this hidden enemy, whoever this sneaky, hateful person is, like I said, karma, uh, you know, what goes around comes around and Mama my aunt has everyone's address. She's right there. <laughs> so whoever this is, they don't realize there's going to be a judgment call and we have uh, poetic justice. And this is by Kendrick Lamar. And you know, I like to show and prove. And so with poetic justice, like I said, this is going to be good karma coming back to you. Bad karma, karma going back to whoever is doing this fufu work, whoever's being fugazi. That's why spirit is like, look alive, pay attention to your intuition. Um, and, and this is because someone is doing, uh, they're, they're hidden. This is like, a, a you know, that devil is hidden. So they're doing things and spirit is just letting, you know, like protect your energy. Um, you know, sage, wear your protective oils, take your spiritual baths, um, protect yourselves because there's a lot of jealousy and there's a lot of negativity. And it's because uh, you are blossoming, you are growing, um, your life is flourishing, it's thriving. And someone is sitting on the sideline hating. And, and this ain't even somebody that's in your cipher. This is someone that you don't even rock with like that because they on the outskirts looking. 
you know, and Ish is thriving where you are. And they're a little salty about that. And on top of that, you you got your guard up. You're wise enough to be guarded. You're wise enough, um, you know, to to uh, block out what doesn't serve you. So let's tap in. So why is this one new beginning, 44 environment, blossoming, uh, boundaries, the seven of swords here for what's hidden in the energy. We have a message of love and light. So we have two messages. Or actually, we have more. I didn't realize so many cards flew out. And then I'm going to take this card. You see how that's sticking out? I'm going to take that also. And on the bottom of the deck, we have hone your skills, gifts, talents, practice makes perfect. And didn't I say that? I literally said, like, master your crafts in the beginning. Like, you know, the more you work on it, the more skilled you become. It says regal, royal. There's levels and you supersede them. Diamond in the rough. This is, I told y'all that with the 144, I already knew. I already knew y'all, y'all have an anointing, a calling. This is why you got a lot of haters. This is why you got somebody that's really, really like doing everything in their power to try to sabotage or block something. But this is just proof that you all are blissed. And that 444, you're protected. You're divinely protected and spiritually guided. So these haters, I'm telling you, Mama Ma'at has everyone's address. With thunder clapping, it says prepare, take shelter. So this is going to be like that tower moment. This is going to be like, you know, something's going to be exposed. Remember, I was feeling like a finale, like there's going to be final, like, you know, the, the final ending. Something's closing up. Some chapter is ending. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of, um, you know, some sort of, um, you know, exchange here between this person who's learning, uh, you know, learning boundaries and this person here who's trying to be beguiling and being phony and fugazi. Uh, there's absolutely going to be like a clash. Um, but I also feel like it's, it's because someone's jealous, envious, you know, uh, there's also, you know, a potential that someone could have learned how someone, uh, they're dealing with or someone they were in a relationship with, um, may feel about you Scorpios and this could cause them to now turn their attention to you to try to send something to you uh look at this it says words of spells spells bind mind your words and stay protected so someone is speaking ill on your lives uh like I said if some of you are in uh the spotlight then this could be individuals like wishing and praying on your downfall uh, sending you bad energy, giving you the evil eye. Perhaps they're doing some sort of spells to try to block blessings and opportunities. Uh, just be mindful. They could be trying to block your your um, your blessings because we have manifest that ish. You got the power. So I, I feel there's absolutely no guarantees. I, mean, I said no guarantees. There's no doubt about it um, that you all are like, there's some beautiful opportunity that is presenting itself um and it's because you've earned it and then there's a lot of haters that are watching behind the scenes from you know secretly admiring you but hating you at the same time this is nothing more than projection um they've watched you literally work from the ground up like you've worked hard put in blood sweat and tears and now there's like you know you're, you're seeing your hard work pay off you're starting to feel like, you know, um, you know, things are looking up. There's also love interest coming in. Like someone is finally seeing you for who you are, who you've always been and whoever they have around them attached to them or whoever you have around you attached to you is hating. This is someone very jealous, very envious, very deceitful. This is someone that speaks with a forked tongue. This is a master manipulator, a gaslighter, and what they don't realize is everything that they're doing in contempt and with malice and contempt and, and mind, it, 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 I'm telling you, it's going to manifest in their own lives. My throat chakra is getting blocked again. <clears throat> so let's get one more message for what's hidden. We have to get a message of what's hidden. So secret admirer likes what they see, uh, loves what they see, pardon me. And you are uniquely made beautiful soul. So this is what's hidden. So you have a secret admirer that has their eyes on you. And look what spirit is saying. 
No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So regardless of who these people are, we don't we don't shy away from that energy anyway. But spirit is just letting you know, just for you, so you know, like I said, with that 444, we already knew you protected. You already protected. There's already an impenetrable fiery wall of protection around you. But spirit is confirming that. And, and, and is veggie backing off that truth and that fact. But you have a secret admirer. Someone has discovered someone is secretly admiring you. Because this person that they're dealing with, um, they perhaps are kind of cut off from them, blocked off from them, not really, you know, interested. So this person did some digging. Someone did some digging. They probably even... Um, you know, um, admitted to a friend and that friend went and told their person like, oh, this person likes such and such. And they talk about this person. And so now whoever they were with is on a rampage, but this person is secretly admiring you from a different, uh, from a distance and they feel you are very unique, hence nature. So they feel they got a natural connection with you. Things are very organic, very fluid, very, you know, synergetic, very, very, a lot of chemistry, a lot of, um, passion and this is what's hidden this person is coming towards you there will be some communication with thunder clapping this is really like that energy of like unexpected news or communication so i do feel like you know this communication is uh not only uh communication that they will be having or exchanges they will be having with whoever they're dealing with that they've discovered is a snake but also this could just be uh the communication that's coming in for you that's unexpected and that's going to be very shocking but worry not fret not scorpios no weapons formed against y'all shall prosper and every evil eye watching y'all y'all are already all right trust and believe remember mama Irene said, you will, uh, you are, there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So you needn't worry about anything. So, you know, give your worries to the divine, to your angels, to your spirit team. Ashe. So we're going to get another message and then we're going to wrap it up. Ashe. So there's 22. It says mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection or the shadow side of you? Check yourself. So that's why spirit is telling you to trust your intuition, you know? Trust your intuition because with this devil and this judgment here, perhaps someone that's coming back and we got black backstabbing, plotting, planning, scheming, scamming here. And then we got a uh, mirror reflection. So someone could be coming in under their own shadow self. Like they've yet to do their shadow work. They've yet to heal at a soul level. So there could be like other options because remember what i feel about twos twos always give me duality so you can have some options coming in uh there could be multiple suitors suitors coming in and that's why spirit is reminding you trust your intuition um there's going to be communication uh i feel that there's also some good energy and good vibrations coming in as well so with this backstab or someone's coming back for revenge you know, someone's coming back, you know, maybe someone's going to say some things that you may not have known or try to trigger you in some way, shape, form or fashion. But spirit is like, be water, my friend. Do not let anyone affect you, anger you, because whoever angers you controls you. And this is something this person knows. This will be a tactic. You know, maybe this person will be coming in very beguiling, very deceitful. You know, this is somewhat envious as well. Very envious. So let me get another message, spirit, for what's hidden I mean, what the outcome will be, man. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. And we have on the bottom of the deck, support system, the village people you could trust and depend on in a crisis. And I feel for many of you all, I heard was your spirit team, your angels, your ancestors. I definitely feel like that's why you're going to have peace because you know that you're divinely protected. And we have laws of attraction manifesting your dreams, hopes, and desires. So this is what you all have learned to do. Uh, this is why spirit is also telling you trust your intuition because maybe right now you are a master manifester. Right now you are very sensitive and whatever you think about, you're going to create. So don't think negatively because you can manifest that in this physical reaction. I mean, physical reality. So laws of attraction is stating that, you know, whatever you're vibrating on, whatever frequency you're vibrating on, you could pull that in. We're all electromagnetic beings. And then we have, as the world turns, there could be distance. You could be very guarded, but this also speaks to graduations, ascensions, growth. This is like you gaining a deeper, more profound understanding and knowledge of self. Um, this is about spiritual alignment, you gaining that wise dome. This is you mastering yourself, mastering your crafts, coming into that alignment, mind, body, and soul. And spirit is like, be thankful. You fell down, but got back up. So that's the resilience. That's the persevering. You know, this is you braving your light. 
And then we also have for the love of money, greed, money. Um, it says for the love of money, moolah, dough, cheddar cheese, biscuits, and it says greed on the side. So there is someone that's very greedy. Like I said, deceitful, beguiling. This is someone also codependent. This could also be someone at your job, so be mindful. You can have somebody smiling in your face all the time. They're trying to take your place, beloved. Also, be healthy. Um, your health is your wellness. Your health is your wealth, to be honest with you. So take, you know, take nature walks, take jogs, go outside, get some fresh air, be more active, eat more fruit, fruity, leafy um, vegetables, uh, drink more water. Um, do things that are going to um, revitalize you. You know what I'm talking about? Like do things that will revitalize you and keep you, you know, keep you um, healthy, beloved. But you do have a support system. Your angels are protecting you. As I said, you are anointed because we literally have 144. Um, and for those of you who are like, what's 144? Uh, they say that 144,000 people are chosen and will be here to, you know, fight the good fight, so to speak. So that's where that's coming from. And not to mention you had a lot of four, four, fours showing up. So spirit is just confirming that you all are blessed and highly favored. And with that comes, uh, you know, the shadow, like I said, the more you shine, the more you're going to cast shadows. And that's literally what this person is. Just someone who is jelly, a little envy and, um, desires to be in the spotlight, but you can't be in the spotlight if you don't do the work required to get in the spotlight. And that's the problem with a lot of people. They just want the rewards without doing the work, you know, and that's not the way it works, because especially when the rewards are coming from the, the angels, your ancestors, that is a sign that like they are very, very proud of you all. And I was hearing, you know, the celebration, the, 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 the cheers, you know, um, and, and just, you know, the, the, the overall joy, um, and satisfaction you were going to be feeling. And with this expect a miracle, like this is beautiful right here. Um, a lot of you all, many of you all, most of you all are, uh, touched are given, um, uh, gifted, pardon me, and have some sort of, uh, purpose or mission here. And on the bottom, uh, I said on the bottom of the deck. So with the system, uh, don't disturb this groove. That's you being guarded. So just open up a little more, be receptive, uh, definitely surrender to spirit, trust the process. Uh, don't be overly guarded because you could block out what spirit is trying to bless you with as well. Um, and protect your energy beloveds, because there is this devil and this devil could be, you know, really trying to manipulate something, even if it's manipulating your blessings or your rewards that's coming in. Um, so be mindful because that's the reason why spirit was like, look, you, 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 you got to protect your energy that came out mirror reflects. So, um, with the mirror reflects, there also could be someone utilizing mirror magic. So, um, cover your mirrors. Don't ever let your mirror face you as you're resting at night, but definitely like make sure you smudge your mirrors as well. Um, and, and, you know, do a side jewel over the mirror to block out any potential, um, you know, um, ritual work beloveds but this is your reading i hope the message has resonated for you all um if you found that it did please be kind uh hit that like button hit the bell notification so you know whenever i upload and also um subscribe to the soul tribe soul family if you feel so inclined um i will that my reading i will that the way that i vibe i will that the way that uh i read the cards resonated with you um, if you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. <laughs> love is love is love. Thank you so much for tuning in, Deb. And then until next time, I said a big old fat ashe, yo. Uh, check out my Etsy shop, y'all. There's a link right in the box somewhere. I don't know if it's here, here, or here. It might be here, 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 or <laughs> But just go down in the description box as well. Check out my Etsy shop. I got some dope items. I handcraft my items. I make jewelry. I make crystal trees. Those are authentic crystal trees and they take hours to create. And I have different types. I have selenite bowls with crystal trees, chakra trees. Um, I have so many items. I forget. I have some new, um, uh, fiery wall of protection candles. And then I have a Baba Ogun candle, um, that I will be also launching, um, this weekend. So, um, Tap in, tune in, you know, get connected. Uh, these are supercharged and activated on my altars. Um, 
And remember, never leave a candle of mine or of anyone's unattended. Um, you know, because when you are caught doing these works, when you're setting intention, that flame could go up, it could jump, anything can happen. I put uh, a lot of like herbs on my candles. Um, and so those could set a fire. So it's very important to watch your candle, never to leave it unattended. Um, but I do want you all to uh, tune and tap in, like I said, to my shop. Thank you so much for showing love. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you came and hung out with your sister for two hours. We're about to wrap it up. Thank you so much again. I love you all. Have a blissed rest of your day. Peace.